Hello, now let me introduce the each, each part of the solar power systems. We can see these are two pieces of solar panels. And this one is the inverter built-in controllers. About the next one, this is the battery. Okay. And about other accessories, now we can see here, these two are the solar the PV cables for the solar panels connection to the inverter. And these two is the battery cables. This is for the battery connect to the inverters. And this one is the grounding cables, uh, connect the inverter to the ground. And this is the PV grounding cables uh, about the so two pieces solar panels connection and connect to the bracket. And we can see here, these are the MC4 connectors. This is a one pair of two in one MC4 connect connectors. And this is one in one out MC4 connector. And this one is the AC fuse. It is connection between the inverter and the load. And this one is the other uh, screws accessories for the grounding cables connect to the ground. That's all. Uh, about the solar system installation, the first step is to connect the battery to the inverter. And uh, we can see, we will use the battery cable. And you can see that the uh, battery cable is with the terminals. Yes. So this is the battery cable. OK. Now connect to the. Now let's connect the battery cable to the inverters. Before we connect to the uh, inverter terminals, please make sure that the circle breaker is turned off. This is very important. Yeah. Okay, now we start to connect the black cables to the battery negative. And yeah, make sure it's uh, you can You can try if this, if this is tightened. Okay. If it is okay, let's try another. And the red cable is connected to the positive code. Okay. After connection, we can also try it to make sure if these two cables already tighten. Yes. And then we will connect to the battery terminal. Please note that the terminal should be the same and cannot uh, connect to the wrong code. The black one is connect to the battery negative. Yeah. And please make sure the battery bolt is tightened. And then the red cable is connected to the battery mm, positive terminal. And also tighten the bolt. OK. OK, so now the battery connected to the inverter is finished. Now, uh, let's show you how to connect the MC4 connectors to the PUV cables. Uh, the first step is that how to recognize the male and female of the MC4 connectors. We can see that here, this is a positive code. So this is a uh, male. male. Yes. Okay, this is male one. And, and another one? Another one is, is the uh, negative. negative. So this is for the female. For the female, and uh, we can also see that the copper, copper code is, is also different. Yes. This one, the bigger one, is for the male. Yes. And the smaller one is for the female. So when you connect the MC4 connectors, please notice that this is different. Okay. Uh, I will show how to connect the uh, MC4 connector to the PV cable. And the first step. I will remove the wire screen.
Okay. This one. Mm. This one. Mm. Okay. Yes, the four square mm. Yeah. Now we are using the clamps to tighten yeah. the copper coat to the PV cables. Okay. Okay. So now we yeah. can see, and you also can try if if uh, the copper coat is fixed on the PV cables. Yes. And then put. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. Now I will tighten this uh, the connector. Okay, make sure that there's no no gap. gap. Yeah, no Be gap. Between the two parts. So uh, it is very important to uh, tighten the two parts. Okay. Now, this is okay. That's all. The second step is to connect the solar panels to the inverter. Now we can see there are total two pieces of solar panels. And these two pieces solar panels will be connected in parallel. Now our engineer will show you how to connect in parallel. Make sure that is the positive. Okay, so uh, first uh, we take two of two pieces of the solar panels uh, positive together, and then use the two in one MC four to plug in. And then two pieces of the solar panels are negative, put together, and plug in another part of the M two in one MC four connector. Please make sure the connectors are tightened. Okay, so now, uh. This part is finished. And then we will show you how to connect the, from the two in one MC4 connector to the longer PV cables. And then we can see this one, positive. the po still positive cables, and connect to the red cable, also uh, positive. And then negative cables yes. connect to the black mm, negative cables. Okay. Now, let's show you how to connect the PV cables to the inverters. Still the red cable. To the positive. Connect to the positive. And uh, tighten it.
with this the negative. The negative black cable connect to the solar negative code. Okay, make let's sure try. Tightened, yes. Make make sure it is tightened. So when we connect the different cables, please don't make wrong and make clear that this is for the solar panels in pool, and this is and this is for the positive, and this is for the negative, and this two is for the battery cables connection, and this one it means the positive, and this one it means the negative. So please don't make the solar panel cables and the battery cables make them wrong. The third step is to connect the AC input and the AC output. We can see uh, the AC input is to connect the grid power or the desired generator. We can see the AC input cables is connected to the grid power. And the grid power will charge the battery and the output for the low use. For the AC output, it's connected to the load. We can see the AC output cable is via the AC fuse and connect the fan as load to test it. One of the most important things is that to make sure all of the cables, including the solar panels, and the batteries, the positive and negative, cannot be reversed the connection. Otherwise, you will burn out the inverter. So before we turn on the whole system, we can check the voltage by the meter like this. OK. DC, yes. Firstly, let's check the yes. solar yes. input voltage. If the connection is correct, so the solar panel's voltage will show like this. But if the po positive and negative is revised the connection, then the data showed in the meter will be minus like this. OK, after we test the solar input voltage, then we can check the battery voltage too. Now we can see the battery voltage is 13.25, so it is normal. But if the battery cables connected is revised, then the data show in the meter will be minus too, like this here. Okay. After we test uh, all the connection is correct and check everything is okay, then we can turn on the solar inverters via the circle breaker. Now this is turned off. Then we turn on it. After we turn on the breaker, then we turn on the button of the screen by one second. Okay, we can see. We can see now the solar the light is the solar is lighting. So that means the inverter already connect to the solar panels and the battery is also lighting. So it means the battery is also connected and with the inverter. The inverter is lighting, that means the inverter is uh, working by the battery. And then we can see the screen. Here we can see the screen, there's a different data show in the screen. Here, this is means the solar panels is charging the battery via the controller. And then the, we can see the battery is almost full. Solar panels, controller, and battery, and via the inverter. Inverter and then output for the load. Uh, this one, the bulb means the load. So uh, we can see the load and the load power, uh, the, the low power capacity. We can see here. Okay, here, this is the AC input voltage. 
Now, as there's no the city electricity input, so this is zero. And then this is the working frequency. We can see here is 50 hertz. And then this is output voltage. We can see this is AC 224 voltage. So this is normal. And then we, we can put the down. Yeah, to see another data. This is the battery voltage. We can see now this is the 12.6 for, uh, for battery. And this is the solar panels generate, generated the <coughs> power in every day, showed here. And this is the solar panels, the charging current. As now it is inside door and there's no solo, so it is zero. Okay, now we will turn on the uh, load. We can see now the AC fan is working normal. Okay. And now uh, if your project, there's an AC input. Turn on the AC input. We can see the working mode, uh, the lighting is from the inverter to the light. So when the light, light is lighting, that means there's AC input. And we can see the data here. The AC input voltage now, it is 211 voltage. So in this working mode, the city electricity will charge the battery together with the solar panels and then uh, the ac in, and then the ct electricity will also output directly for the low use we can see on the inverter this logo means the grounding cable connection one is at the left another is at the right both of these two terminals is okay. You can choose the left one or the right one to connect to the grounding cables. And then the grounding cables, another side, will be fixed to the earth pole like this. Then the inverter grounding cable connection is finished. That's all. This is the PUV grounding cables. Okay, now uh, let's show you how to connect to the solar panels. We can see there are total one, two, two poles on the solar panels frame. So when you don't use the poles, uh, when you uh, install the solar panels to the bracket, then you can take use of this pole to connect to the grounding cables. Now we will show you how to install it. It's very simple just to take use of the screws and tighten it. When we confirm it is tightened, then it's finished. So the uh, solar panels, grounding cable, the connection will be like this. If these two holes already be taken use by the bracket. So you need to find another new hole to do the fixing like this. Now our engineer will show you how to do it.
Okay, we finish. After we finish the installation of the grounding cables between these two solar panels, then we can go on to do the solar panels grounding cables connect to the bracket on the other two sides. So it will be connected like this. One pole is connected to the frame of the solar panels, and another pole is connected to the bracket. It will be like this. And it's the same for the another, peop another solar panels and another side. It will also be connected like this. So for the solar panels, grounding cables, you will be total one, two, three pieces connection. That's all.